Hi guys, Julie Wonder here from my Healthy Living Lifestyle blog, Running in a Skirt. I'm a firm believer that finances shouldn't get in the way of you working out. So today I'm sharing six ways you can work out for free. The first way you can work out for free is running. Now that is obviously one of my personal favorite hobbies, but really is a great way to work out in an inexpensive way. I talk a lot about races and new clothes, but really at the heart of running, all you really need is a good pair of running shoes. You don't have to spend a lot of money on them, but I do recommend that you get fitted at a local running store for running shoes so you don't get running injuries later. But once you invest that amount of money, you're good to go working out for free for a good amount of time. You can run in your neighborhood, so it's a time saver. Or if you don't live in a place that's great for running, you can go to a local park, which is also free. If you don't like to run, walking is also great too. You can carry some inexpensive hand weights with you. The second way to work out for free is one of the outdoor gyms at your local parks. Lots of community parks are now basically putting in playgrounds for adults. They're really awesome. You can do all sorts of activities, pull-ups, push-ups, just different things, and they're available for free. And here locally, if you're watching, the Fletcher Park actually just installed one. The third way you can work out for free is to find workouts on Pinterest or blogs. I know I post a new workout every month and a lot of them require no equipment and minimal space. So it's something that you can do for free and a lot of bloggers do the same thing. So you can check my blog here or you can of course go to Pinterest and find some wonderful workouts from other bloggers. The fourth way you can work out for free is YouTube videos. My goodness, there are so many amazing YouTube videos that are workouts, that are free. All you have to do is have something, an iPad, a computer, even a phone that you can watch the video on and then do your workout. You could even put a desktop in the corner and play the workouts from there. They're free and the workouts available are remarkable. Just Google workout videos on YouTube. The fifth way you can work out for free is to join a local walking group. Almost every community has groups of people that get together and walk in different areas, whether it's a local park or even the mall. Walking is a great way to work out, especially if you aren't into some of the more high intense workouts. It still gets your heart rate up and gets you moving. You can also find some great walking groups on meetup.com, which is actually how my dad got really involved in walking. The sixth way you can work out for free is to join a pickup game or a recreational sport. Go to a park, find people playing volleyball, basketball, baseball, see if you can join the team or look up different recreational groups available through your city and you can work out for a whole season for little to no money. It's a great way to get involved. So there you have it. Working out really doesn't have to cost you anything. Those are my top six tips for working out for free. Don't forget to stop by my blog, Running in a Skirt. I'm Julie Wonder. Have a wonderful day.